Today, we are talking about creating space. Do you have room to create what you desire? Where else besides your home do you need to create space? How can you easily and effortlessly create space in your life? Let's finish up our month and the year tidying up. Does your clutter own you? Unclear your clutter inside and out. We'll teach you how to become aware of your clutter along with action steps to declutter and create the life you desire. Come on, let's get started. Today's episode is inspired not only as my work as a professional organizer and supporting others in clearing space in their home, but also my healing work that I do. You can't create what you desire if you are crammed full of stuff you don't want. Feng Shui talks about clearing your clutter to bring what you desire into your life. Creating space is the same thing. When I do energetic work, a lot of it is about creating space. When I've cleared stuff, moving around that spiral, going up on the spiral, up leveling, which is one of my new favorite words, I get this feeling of expansionness. I don't know how to describe it. It's something you'd have to experience, but I feel as big and as expanded as the universe, and I know anything is possible. Why would you want to create space? If you aren't seeing in your life what you desire, that may be motivation enough to create space. If you have clutter everywhere, how can the universe bring you more of what you desire? Because what you're signaling is, you're good to go. You don't want anything else. You got enough. Creating space allows us room to create and think. If there's no space in our mind, how can we do that? Think about your current desk area or wherever you do work. Can you think more clearly after you've tidied it up? It also allows us to be more creative. Instead of focusing on insignificant stuff, we can use our minds to create. You may need to create space in a relationship. I see a lot of couples that don't give one another room to grow. When you stunt your growth, you don't learn and can stay stuck in a rut. I saw someone last year at my college reunion who had not changed at all. That wasn't a good thing. She was the same narrow-minded person she was 25 years ago, and it made me think she hadn't grown in any way at all. Creating space helps you focus on what's important when you realize what's taking up space isn't important. Creating space allows you to be more proactive. You become very clear on what's important and take steps to make it happen. Creating space can support you in helping you to say no. When you know what you desire, you can say no to what you don't. Creating space allows you support in finding your passion. When you open up to what else is possible, you can find things maybe that you never knew existed. Where in your life do you need to create space? Your house? Your mind? How about your emotions? Do you have the space to express how you feel not only to yourself, but to those around you. Feel stuck, but have no clue what you need to do to move forward? Would you like to feel energized and excited every day? Are you ready to create the life you desire? Julie's Caraccio supports you in finding the answers within and then taking action to make changes happen. Visit reawakenyourbrilliance.com to learn how Julie can support you with life coaching. How about spiritually? I know my spiritual practices have opened me up to a lot more possibilities. Examine your relationships. Do you need to create space in any of those? How do we create space? First, I would like to suggest being as clear as possible in what you desire to create. 
There are many ways that you can create space. Remove physical clutter. Come on, guys. This is a podcast about clearing clutter. I had to mention it. Breathe. A nap can support you in creating space. Spending time in nature. Think about how that helps you emotionally, mentally, spiritually. Meditating is a great way to clear and create space. How about fasting? I used to fast every six months, and it's a habit I should pick up again. How about creating a sacred space? In one of our guest bedrooms, I have an altar. It has crystals, my sound bowls, some sage. Letting go of what no longer serves you. That's what decluttering is all about. That allows you to create space. If you're looking for a relationship, is there space for a new person? Not only in your home, but also your heart. I knew when I first moved from Los Angeles to Raleigh, I really wanted to find a relationship, but I was kind of thinking about a guy in Los Angeles and I'd talk about him a lot. I really wasn't aware of it until I'd gone on a couple of dates and then had this aha moment. Here's a guy right in front of me and I'm talking about someone else. Are you really ready to create the space for that relationship? I also believe don't jam pack your schedule. Some people say they allow space for emergencies. I like to say I allow space to create opportunities. How else could you create space in your life? There are numerous ways to do this. What makes sense to you? How will you create space in your life? Take actions from today's podcast. Where in your life do you need to establish space? Be clear in what you would like to bring into your life. Make a list of all the ways you can create space in your life. Begin creating space in your life. All right, everyone, wishing you all a very wonderful start. I hope that all your dreams come true. We'll see what's coming up on the podcast next year. I've been stewing on some things, making some changes, so we will see. Next month, we're talking about creating a fabulous start. Go out, clear the clutter to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. Clearing your clutter allows you to share your gifts with the world. Get your free self-assessment to discover your clutter priority at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. If you've enjoyed Clear Your Clutter Inside and Out, please rate, review, and share us.